What's up guys, Tronomics here, and today I wanted to show you some key hacks about the key in the Mercedes C300 formatic. So let's get right to it. So one feature about this keyless go, uh, about this key is keyless go. So you don't have to do anything, you just keep it in your hand. What you have to do is just pull on the handle, it'll unlock the car. You can close it, and then to lock it, you can see this tiny little square right over here. You just tap on it, it locks the car. So that's the basic that has on every single handle. If you open this one, it opens, closes. You could tap that right there, and it just locks the car. Let's get right next to the next one. So the next one about the key hack takes place inside the car where you see the start and stop button. So what you would do is if for some reason this wasn't working and you needed, if your car ba uh, car key battery wasn't working, then what you would wanna do is this part would come in handy now. Keep your key aside, you have to push, like tug, pull out a little force. So just like keep on pulling, this should pop out. Should look like this uh, some models may be different but you just keep that aside down here pick up your key now this is where this part this square part would come in handy you would put that square right over oh, let me get a better view there we go. right over inside that little angle square if you just push in you see the car is turned on now it says just it's like a normal key right now you just turn once turns on one light if you turn it again turns on all the lights and if you keep holding it turns on the car if you if you turn it all the way it turns on the car and then to just turn it off simply just turn it all the way to the off position pull it out and then just exit your car so to put it back in, you would want to take this piece, make sure it's not upside down, okay? Make sure it's not upside down. Make sure it's like this. The engine is upwards. So you'd want to do the same thing how we took it out. Just place it back inside. Make sure it clicks. You hear that click? That's when you know it's all the way in. So another cool feature would take place inside this car. So this is, this is kind of like valet mode, okay? So you go up to this glove box and you see this key, right? So remember the key from the last video that in the last video we took out the key, took out this key from this uh, key fob, Mercedes key fob. So you just push that way and it should just pop right out. So just place this key fob aside you have to have this key in handy. So what you would do is just open this glove box naturally. You see that little lock button right there? That shows unlock and lock. So that means that you could either unlock the trunk or lock the trunk, which means if I move it over to the lock, no one can now lock, uh, open my trunk. So everything that's safe inside will stay inside and no one will be able to open the trunk to access all my stuff. So, I know what you're thinking now, like if I close this glove box, won't someone just be able to open this? Where, well, this is where this key comes in handy. You put this key inside, turn it, 180, pull it out. Now, glove box is locked. You can't open it, and now, no one can access the trunk. Let's go see outside. Or if I try to pull the trunk here, it's not opening. If you go check right here, it's not open. But if I try to hold this, it's not opening either. Let's try to press it over here. If I press it right here, it's not working. So there we have it. Now the trunk is locked and no one can access your belongings. Now to unlock it, you do the same thing but in reverse. Go inside your car, Take out the key, put the key inside, turn it 180 this way, 
take it out, put your key aside, open this, and unlock the trunk like that. Just push it over to the right side. Close your glove box. Your glove box is now opened, and so is your trunk. You heard that in the back? My trunk is now opened. Well, there you have it. Three top and key features about your Mercedes C300. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my previous video about how to open and close your windows without entering the car. It's pretty nice. You guys should check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.